Well, there are several uh, methods varying from the Berea methods to contra oral contraceptive pill. There are the intrauterine devices. There are other devices to implant in the arm, like implanel, and there is injections. So there is a wide variety of methods, and in this respect, it's very important the uh, uh, the consultation with the doctor, so that uh, the doctor, even the the physical, the body type can uh, determine, uh, guide us to assess what is the best method for the for the lady, but also to know the preferences of the lady, of the couple. So there are that huge range. And so a very detailed, usual long consultation. For example, several times I let I provide all the information and I let the lady and sometimes the couple go home and think about what best applies to them within the recommendations. Because sometimes, for example, there may be contraindication to a particular method. And in that case, if there is a contraindication, we, I will tell clearly to the lady or the couple, this is not recommended, I would not decide it. So it's really uh, uh, not only a, a scientific medical choice where I provide all the information, the available methods, but also the preference of the couple, what works for them. Well, the first one, uh, to understand the reason why uh, there is uh, why there is a need to change it. So we investigate why it's not working, and then we move to the second or third line of, of uh, the, the options available. Uh, so if it is not working for whatever reason, uh, in that case, uh, we discuss with the lady what are the issues so that they do not appear again with a second option and we go from there to see what what's the best for that particular lady and for the couple. Oh, that is a, a very interesting question because one thing is what they think for most, the, the one that is medically speaking the most acceptable without uh, risks, because for example, if we are speaking about the oral contraceptive pill, it depends on the weight of the lady, the age, uh, there are several risks of you know, cardiovascular, emotional embolism. Uh, so the barrier methods, uh, in principle, uh, the, 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 the risks are, are much lesser, and so they are acceptable to most of people. Of course, particularly they may cause anxiety, and it's another situation, for example. Uh, so, but in terms of medical serious side effects, they are the ones that can be applied to, can be used by everybody without uh, risks. Uh, associated. And we see that, for example, uh, in the practice uh, in most countries where some of these that are involved less risk, they are available even without prescription. Of course, it's very important to have the medical information that the gynecologist can give you. And, uh, uh, but uh, uh, to answer directly, to your question, I think it's indeed the, the, the real methods, and they have the advantage also of uh, uh, playing a, a huge role in the prevention of sexual transmitted diseases that we are seeing increasing in, in particular groups. So it's, uh, I think they, I will go for that for this answer. It's important to the reason why, uh, if the patient, the lady is not okay with the method, she should change it, seek uh, a consultation uh, professional and change it if there is a, a, a reason if she's not okay with the method. Most of the either the contraceptive pills 
or the intrauterine devices, coil or implants, whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they come with the, the manufacturer will tell us for how long that particular device should stay in use. So uh, yeah, to that question, it depends whether it's the patient asking to change it for a particular reason, or uh, if not, we should follow the guidelines or what the manufacturer tell us about when it should be moved, uh, when it should be replaced. Or as soon as possible. Uh, and sometimes it can be a serious issue. And for example, uh, nowadays that we have even you know, phone consultations, you have quite quick access to the consultant with a phone consultation, a video consultation. I would suggest do not hesitate because your doctor will be ready to help you as soon as possible to sort the problem. So if you are having a problem, an issue, do not suffer with it. Go immediate consultation. Sometimes it, it's a, a, a physical examination is needed, uh, but don't hesitate to get on the phone, video consultation, and the, the, your doctor will be more than happy to help you to sort the issue. So as soon as 